Ms. Kanika Bansal and Mansi Singhal from QA Infotech and their topic will be load testing of encrypted APIs. I would like to invite them to take the stage. Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to each of one of you in the STC Conference 2021. In today's era, communication is the basis for living our lives. But what if I say that all the one second, let me share my screen. Yeah. But what if I say that all the communication that we do was prone to outside world? Yes, each one of us are using multiple messaging apps on our smartphones to connect with our near and dear ones. And if we are using these apps daily, starting from morning till, till late night, if not, or your friends, or then at least from your family members are using these apps. Usually, we get messages from these apps, but we don't need to worry as these uh, messages are encrypted now. Means only the receiver and the sender can view the messages. For example, WhatsApp. And WhatsApp performance team has done a lot, lot of hard work to keep this app running so that we get these messages daily. Today, me, Kunika Bansal, and my partner, Mansi Singhal, from the performance team of QA Infotech are here to present our view on the topic load testing of encrypted APIs. So what is the need of performance load test for encrypted APIs? Mostly messaging applications like WhatsApp, Signal, etc. help us to easily communicate and connect with the people around the world. However, with new ways to communicate and connect via technology, there are also new ways for us to for the privacy and security to be breached. Private messages could potentially be read by third parties. So it's very important to secure this application by using end-to-end -end encryption. This measure prohibits any from seeing the contents of the message except for you and the intended recipient. The best secure chat programs are becoming crucial in today's technologically connected world. For this chat apps, where load is increasing linearly and innumerable users are online at the same time, we need to invest in load testing of this application to check if encryption is working fine with higher user load. This was just an example of a chat-based application, but we can see with the increase in usage of apps, companies are moving towards encryption in order to keep the data confidential, like in many e-commerce companies, digital currencies, etc. We have also got a similar request from one of our client for the load testing of an application in which similar encrypted APIs were implemented. And we have to execute the load of lakhs of users on this application by using JMeter. The application was quite new for us and we faced some issues while working on it. So in coming slides, we will show you the problems we faced and how we overcome them. So these are the few points which we are going to cover in our presentation. Firstly, we will talk about the rising need of encryption, which will help us to get the insights of our today's topic. And then moving from here, we will discuss about the details of the utility, covering the problem statement and solution, which we followed for the implementation. After that, we will show you the small demo to encrypt user request in the JMeter. And in the last, the outcomes of the today's presentation. Before we start with the main topic, where I will discuss the project we worked on, let's brush up our concepts for the encryption. Encryption is the security method of encoding data from plain text to cipher text, which can only be decrypted by the user with the encryption key. This help protects the confidentiality of digital data either stored on your computer system or transmitted through a network. It is becoming more common practice in developing end-to-end -end encrypted REST APIs or microservices to enhance authentication, privacy, regulatory compliance, security, especially in the industries such as finance, banking, healthcare, travel, etc. So there are two types of encryption symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Symmetric encryption uses a single password to encrypt and decrypt data. Whereas asymmetric encryption uses two keys for encryption and decryption. A public key 
which is shared among the users and encrypts the data and a private key which is not shared decrypt and it decrypts the data coming to the types of encryption we have rsa and aes rsa asymmetric encryption algorithm it offers scalability it is the most widely used algorithm today and is extensively used in many applications including ssl certificates cryptocurrencies and email encryption whereas aes symmetric encryption algorithm which stands for the advanced encryption standard it works on the method of permutation and substitution first the plain text data is converted into blocks and then the encryption is applied using the encryption key aes is safe fast flexible and is much quicker algorithm it is used in many applications including like wireless security process security file encryption ssl tls pro protocol mobile app encryption vpn etc now coming to the project tool which we are going to cover today we got a project which is a mobile based application and this application have multiple get and post apis to save the user details log into the application uploading data and many other apis based on the scenarios all these apis are encrypted with aes algorithm and each api constitutes some parameters which are passed as the request body in this apis there are few apis whose response was also coming in the encrypted form now client has provided us the scenario based on that we have to prepare the test strategy and including the test cases and the test data and need to execute the load test on this application with the lack of users using jmeter but there were multiple challenge as it was a not a normal application like others we worked on the apis were encrypted because of security reason so creating the script and running the load test using jmeter was quite tough because we don't have ready made utility or framework in jmeter to test the encrypted apis these are the few challenges which we faced during the tenure of our project first is implementation of encryption and decryption algorithm in order to handle the encrypted apis in jmeter it was hard to find the functions in jmeter to create the utility second is resource consumption if the response size is huge then it will consume high memory and cpu so in order to fix this we need to tune our hardware resources or optimize the code verification of encrypted response this is also a challenge in case if the server response is coming in the encrypted form then how to verify this response using jmeter during the load test to overcome this challenge we have used assertions and regex function which we we explain in upcoming slides last is the store heavy response of apis if the server response size is heavy and we need to validate or extract this response this can lead to consume large amount of disk space and can degrade the performance so to fix this issue we have compressed this response in the md5 hash using jmeter and store it on the disk space in order to achieve the goal mentioned above we did a lot of brainstorming sessions with our team and tried different logics and number of jmeter functions after number of such sessions we got a solution by implementing aes algorithm logic in pre processor to encrypt the user request and post processor to decrypt the response and in the last we will verify the server response by using a session this was just an overview of the solution we will explain each and every step of this solution in detail in the upcoming slides before starting to implement the above solution which we discussed in the previous slide we need a few inputs like the documentation of apis containing json request their respective parameters and the use of that apis second is encryption algorithm which is implemented in the application and backend encryption algorithm is a component for electronic data transport security it help prevents data fraud and hackers who illegally obtain electronic financial information last is encryption key encryption keys are designed 
with algorithms intended to ensure that every key is unpredictable and unique. The longer the key is built, in this manner, the harder it is to crack the encryption code. An encryption key is used to encrypt, decrypt, or carry out both functions based on the sort of encryption type we used. So these details we receive from the client and the developers. Here on the screen, we can see the flow of implementation. At first, there will be a sampler in which header, URL, post, get request will be mentioned. And we will be passing our encryption code into the JSR223 preprocessor. And the encrypted data is getting back to the sampler via preprocessor. And if we are getting the encrypted response from the result, and we need to fetch some data from it, so we will use decryption code in a JSR223 post processor. After that, for validation of response, we can apply different assertions. And now, my partner Mansi will proceed to discuss the solution in detail. Thank you, Konika. As my friend earlier mentioned, the solution which we implemented for this application. Now, on the screen, you can see one of the APIs, and this one is Save Data Encrypted API. Basically, the data which we are seeing here will be used to draft the sample records and is submitted in the database, which in returns gives in, us in sample ID. So these examples were given to us by the client. And we can see all the parameters over here are getting passed in encrypted format. Next. Now we are seeing the code to pass the data in encryption format. As Kunika already told us that we need encryption key for performing the encryption. And we have created instance of secret key class. And as told by the developers of the application, they were using AES algorithm in the backend. That is why we have also defined AES algorithm in the class. Now, as per the requirement, we had to pass each and every value like name, phone number, Aadhaar card, patient ID in encrypted format. So we are encoding and decoding the value first in base64 format that will mask the data. And for encryption, we have defined the cipher class of Java. The cipher class of Java offers different functions for implementing encryption and decryption. We are using do final function of cipher class to finalize the value as encrypted or decrypted. Next. In the above example, the response was coming in encrypted format. So we need to extract the sample ID from the response to pass it into the folder transaction. So to fix this issue, we decrypted the response and applied various assertions to verify the results during the load test. Here in the decryption code, the only difference is that we are using decode base64 function instead of encode base64 function as passing the encrypted value as an argument. Now this will return us the decrypted value and we can use it further. As the response is extracted in the decrypted format. So now we can apply assertions like size assertion, duration assertion, response assertion to validate the result of an API. Next. Now, here is an example of assertion that we used in one of our scripts for encoded response. The size of the response was extremely high and we had to fetch a value from its response. So firstly, we had to validate whether there was correct size response coming in or, or, or not. Then we decrypted it and got the value that we had to pass. Once this task was completed, we successfully executed the load test with lakhs of users on the application and shared the required results and reports with the client. Once the scripting task was completed, we needed to execute load test on application by using JMeter. We had to set up distributed environment for the load test. But yes, a single run cannot determine the stability of the application. During the load test, we also observed many errors and issues like with the server side and with the application. Like you can say HTTP 500 errors or issues related to CPU. So we connected with the development team to get those issues resolved and also done multiple experiments by changing the test configurations, tuning the performance environment to check the stability of the application. After this experiment, we executed the load test with lakhs of users once the load test was completed. And based on that, we created report including high level summary like CPU, memory, response time, error rate at each transaction. At the end, all the reports and documents were shared with the client along with the recommendations. Now we are done with the solution and have provided report to the client 
and we finally have a utility utility with us which we can use whenever we want now we will explain you the process of encryption and decryption using jmeter with a small demo for better understanding of the solution let's proceed with the demo because of the client restriction we cannot share the actual data we have prepared this demo using the dummy api so that you can share the you can have the insights into the presentation so firstly i have opened my gmx file into the apache gmeter tool which is an open source tool and is extensively used in load testing of applications so in that screen you can see that i have created a test plan with ha which have multiple elements so we have added http cache and cookie managers under the thread group in order to handle the user session we have also added user defined variables to pass the user parameters like username password and their respective values as mansi and password now under the transaction controller i have added the http sampler which contains the login request and user details are passed here in the encrypted format we can see on the screen the encryption code which was explained before here in the code we can see the username and password are encrypted using aes algorithm with the help of secret key once the values are encrypted they are stored in the variable and returned back to the sampler in the post request as of now a username mansi wants to log in into the application with a password so this code will send the data to the server in the encrypted format now i'm going to run this request using a using a single user yes so here you will see the results on the screen here is the result so we can see the values are passed in the encrypted format like username and password and in the response that we can see the username user mansi has successfully logged in with a session id now this session id in case needed to be used in further transaction so we had to extract the session id from the response using the regular expression extractor that is a post processor we have in a jmeter so we have defined in the regular expression we have defined a regular expression the match number the default value in case it fails so after this we will go to our decryption code for to decrypt the to fetch the value of session id that we will be passed in for the transaction now we have seen the run with the single user let's 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 run it let's run it my voice is repeating yes i hope you are uh, let's run it with the yeah hey, there is an echo just a minute i think i have to hello is my audio fine now okay great great yeah so now we have run it with a multiple user and now we had to run it with a multiple user for multiple user we can see that there will be different session id generated for each user and we can customize the code according to our requirements i hope you are all able to connect with the demo and find it useful to understand the to understand the solution which we explained in the previous slides now moving forward from here we will talk about the outcomes of this utility so how can we use this utility and provide support to other clients firstly automation there are different tools in the market that we use for automation and they are supporting different languages so we can use the same code by changing the syntax according to the language supported by the tool for example in cinelame we can either create a jar or use the same java code we can design the code inside the jar as different functions which we can call in a script very easily similarly for postman which is a popular api client a user can easily test the encrypted api in postman using this utility by adding the encrypt data on the pre processor script secondly to test future applications as this framework is created is it will be easy for us to test any application having aes algorithm with less duration of time after this project we had multiple projects having aes algorithm in the backend so it was easy for us to simulate the same kind of behavior with less duration of time now we can conveniently conclude that api security is the utmost important need of today and end to end encryption logic among the application are increasing so with this utility engineers can perform load testing scalability testing capacity testing stability testing stress testing resilience testing to uncover performance bottlenecks 
or problems that might occur in live environment of any encryption based application. This will not only help in performance testing of application, but also can provide support in other areas. It will minimize our efforts to tackle the security related issues at various levels. So this is all from our end. Let us know if you have any questions. We are happy to answer them. Thank you. I think we have some questions in our chat box. So firstly, JSR 223 preprocessor can be used for encrypt API here. API is right. Yes, we have used we have used our code in preprocessor only. We have written our code manually in preprocessor only. So we can use JSR 223 processor for the encryption and post processor to decrypt the to decrypt the response from the server. Yeah. Second question: Why not you go to Blaze Meter where we can where you can run the JMeter script? Yeah, we can try it with the Blaze Meter as well. But it was client recommended that they wanted us to do it with the JMeter, so we tried with JMeter only. And after that, we tried with Postman as well, so it was working well with Postman also. Yes. Any other questions, please? How it can be assured that a mobile app will work perfectly fine at the user mobile, including UI interface, only on the basis of API load testing? See, for a mobile app, you can definitely try it with the different tools as well. In NeoLoad, we have different options that we can tune our script with a different type of mobiles as well. You know, we can tune it with the Android phones or iOS as well, and we can definitely see the performance of application or performance of APIs as well, that how they are performing well with particular mobiles. By using JMeter, we can test the APIs, like how the APIs will work at the, at the server end. And after that, uh, for the live monitoring of the uh, mobile application, we can install that uh, application on the mobile and we can check that how it, it is compatible in the, how it is working in the mobile. Got it. Any other questions, please? I hope we are able to answer your question. Okay, all right. So thank you, everyone. It was really great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, for that presentation. Yeah,